now, though, with meteorologist Aaron Moran. Aaron, we are tracking weather alerts already in place for this week. Yeah, uh, meteorologist Dominus Brown, he issued them on Monday, but I know Scott Padgett and myself, we were talking about this threat over the weekend. So we've been talking about it for several days, but these weather alerts remain in place, especially on Thursday. We're looking at large hail and wind damage kind of being the main threats. Uh, some flooding concerns as well, though, especially to the east of 35. And then that tornado threat is low, but it's not zero. So we'll be watching that closely as we head a little bit closer to Thursday and then into Friday as well. But for now, things remain clear. We've got mostly clear skies. We're expecting partly cloudy skies as we head into the overnight hours, and lows will be in the upper 50s and low 60s, depending on where you are. Now, for tomorrow, uh, during the day, we're expecting partly sunny skies, and temperatures will be able to get into the 70s and 80s, maybe an isolated shower to the east. Uh, but you notice that the high temperatures tomorrow really varying from east to west. This is where we're expecting the cloud cover to be a little thicker as we go through the day, certainly in the morning hours. That's where you see low 70s. That's where the best chance of maybe seeing an isolated shower is. And then the farther west you are, temperatures are going to get into the mid 80s because it's just going to be so dry. There's going to be sunshine and we're going to have breezy south southwest winds yet again. But first alert future cast tomorrow morning showing that cloud cover along the 35 quarter and certainly to the east. But as we get a little bit closer to 11 a.m., you're starting to see that cloud cover breaking up to the west. You're st still seeing a few showers, though, off to the east. Then into the afternoon, more sunshine along 35E, 35W, still seeing some of those clouds along the 45 quarter. We get to the evening hours. You've got partly cloudy skies, but then, of course, into Thursday and Friday, more clouds and rain chances with weather alerts posted for the possibility of strong to severe storms. So we've been talking about Thursday afternoon and evening for the last couple of days. Hail damaging winds, heavy rain, as I mentioned, and that low tornado threat are the main concerns. There is going to be a cap in place. We're expecting the cap to break at some point, but when does it break? And if it's breaking in the evening, then maybe a little less in the way of active weather. Then we've got that cold front moving through on Friday. So here we are Thursday morning. Dry line is approaching from the west, and you get a few stronger storms to the west and along uh, the Red River as well. But into the afternoon, cap holding, and we're not seeing a ton of activity. That changes, though, as that cold front arrives into the evening. So you get strong storms 10, 11 o'clock at night. They continue pushing east and southeast into the overnight hours, and then we still have some rain lingering as we head into Friday morning. By Friday afternoon, some post frontal rain and storms. You see that 60% chance to 40% as we head into Friday evening. For Saturday, got a lot of St. Patrick's Day festivities with the parade. It will be cloudy, rainy, a little cool. By Sunday, partly sunny skies with highs near 70, and then calm, but a little cooler for early next week. All right, Aaron.